So how often have you looked at a problem and said, okay, I can recognize that this is about probability, but the way that the word problem is presented, it's really confusing. I don't know what to do. It looks like it's way more than just simply calculating a probability. What do we do? And so this is what we're going to take care of here. We're going to be talking about compound probability, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can take these word problems and make them feel a lot easier. And that's by understanding the basic fundamental ideas. So that way you can keep your poise in word problems. So I'm Anderson, I'm your ASVAB coach, and guess what? Tonight, we're gonna to be doing a class at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, and it's included in my ASVAB All Access program, where you can get the details in the description of this video. Essentially, you get all the live classes, all of the recordings, all of the practice, and my support all the way until you pass. That way, you don't have to retake the ASVAB or keep delaying your enlistment, but instead, get the military job you deserve. And so, let's go ahead and get started here. Let me go ahead and break this down for us, and let's have a good time. So. First things first, with every word problem, one thing that I dictate, I always make sure to say this in every single class that we do, with word problems, start with the question. There is no reason that you should be starting by reading the information. The information without any purpose, without the goal in mind, is only going to confuse you. So start by reading the question sentence to understand what the goal is first. So with that said, what is the probability that both marbles are blue. Sounds good. So with that said, we have some heavy keyword here. We have a heavy keyword here, probability, both marbles are blue. So with that said, this is a dead giveaway in terms of what math we're doing and exactly how we're gonna calculate this. How do I know? Well, it says probability first and foremost. I think we can all agree there that probability is a math word. My ASVAB party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. And so if you don't know how to calculate probability, mark this down. The way that we calculate probability is this. We go ahead and divide what we want divided by all possibilities. Now you may have seen this in other ways, but essentially it's what you want, the thing that you're saying you want to go ahead and pick out or whatever, divided by everything that's an option, all the other options that are available, everything together. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to it. Oh wait, but it doesn't say one probability, it says, huh, both, what does both mean? What does that mean right there? Oh, that means that we're dealing with compound probability. We're dealing with more than one event. Now, it's not saying probability of picking out one blue marble, it's saying both are blue. One selection, two selections, two or more events, compound probability. And so how do we compute that? Well, super straightforward, super simple. The way that you calculate compound probability is by this. So let me write this over here. So compound probability, what you do, ability. So what you do is you take probability of the first event happening and you multiply it by the probability of the second event happening. That's it. Compound probability, just multiply the probabilities. That's it. And so in this case, what we're saying is we want the probability of the first selection being blue 
And then we want to have the probability, again, both of them being blue. So we want blue again. So blue again. And this is going to be a little small there, but I'm sorry about that. That says again. So let's go ahead and now gather our information because we know what we're going to do once we have our numbers. So now we just need to gather the information, make sure to put the right numbers in the right places. And we're good. We're good. Let's go. So the information says this. A bag contains four red marbles. So right over here, four red. Sounds good. We have six blue over here, six blue marbles. And then we also have 11 green marbles right over here. So if I have a second here, I'll go ahead and change that to green, 11 green marbles right there. Sweet. So we have four red, six blue, 11 green. What are we going to do with all this? So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to first calculate the probability of picking blue. And the thing is, there's a piece of information here that almost everybody overlooks when they're just starting off. And it's this right over here. It is then. So again, Logan picks one marble randomly. And then without replacing the marble, he picks another one. That's going to be very important in a couple of moments. Remember that thought right there without replacing the marbles. Keep that in your mind. Let's go ahead and keep going here. So if we want to find the probability of picking blue for the first time, again, it's what we want, which is blue. And there's six of them divided by the total possibilities. So again, all possibilities, not just everything else, everything that includes the blue. Okay. So four red marbles plus six blue is 10, 10 plus 11 green, 21. We have 21 total marbles. Again, six blue divided by 21 total. Again, you have to include those six in the total as well. All right. So with that said, my party people, we've got six over 21. What is that going to give us? So if we wanted to simplify real quick, what that's going to give us is we can divide both the six and 21 by three because that's going to be two over seven. So the probability of selecting blue will be two over seven. Now, if you're thinking that you're going to multiply by two over seven again, right here, not going to happen, not going to happen for the simple reason being this, then without replacing the marble, without replacing the marble, we didn't replace it. And so what does that mean? Well, if we're trying to calculate the probability of blue again, blue again, well, what's going to happen here is, Hey, if I had six blue before and I didn't put the one that I picked back, I have five. Now think about it. If I had six before I took one out, I have five now. And so if I'm picking blue again without replacing it at first, I now have five blue marbles. And what are all possibilities? How many total marbles do we have now? Well, if I had 21 before, and I picked one and I didn't put it back. That's now 20 right there. So think about it. The key words are so important. The story is so important. It says then without replacing the marble, which means we don't put it back. And so we have to take that into account when creating that next probability, because we now have five blue marbles and 20 total because we took one away. And so with that said, go ahead and simplify here five over 20. That's going to go ahead and be easily divisible by five on each. And that's going to give us one over four. And so for the blue again, I'll be multiplying by one over four. And there we have it. There we have it. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. And so if you wanted to, you could simplify before you actually multiply these fractions. That's something I always suggest by taking a look here. You can see that two and four are both divisible by two giving us one over two over here. And so when we finally perform the multiplication, like we intended to the whole time, 
we have one times one, which is one, seven times two, which is 14. And so there it is. Our answer here, the chances that we pick a blue and then blue again without replacing the marble is one out of 14. And the thing is my party people look, math can be a little easier as long as you're willing to prepare the right way. And that's why with tonight's two hour class, we're going to go going over plenty of different examples. And so I want to invite you to the class tonight. It's at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you're watching the day that this video dropped, it's tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time. You can join with the link in the description of this video. And you can also reach out to me via text or call me. That way you can learn more about it if you're interested. And so with that said, my party people, I'll see you in the next video. Check out the channel for more and let's ace the eyes back. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.